I was asked to record a show from the airport. And here I am, uh, really dark and early. <laughs> and there's really nothing to do at, uh, let's see, 421 in the morning at Raleigh Durham International Airport. There are no people to watch. The shops are not open. I'm going to have to find a machine to get myself a Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi um, so I don't sleep through boarding of my plane, which doesn't start for another hour and 10 minutes or so. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm not exactly sure where I picked up the habit of wanting to be early. Um, I don't know if it's a fear of of being late or if it's just a need to be early I don't know but uh, clearly I didn't plan this out very well when I decided to take the early flight up right I mean if you're gonna be traveling on a day you might as well get to where you're going and have the day to have <laughs> I guess um and so I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning, had alarm set for 3 o'clock, 301, 302. So I didn't, couldn't, you know, I guess I could have snoozed my way through all of it. But no, uh, here I am. Uh, I have a mask on. I've got a uh, not less than mask on. I had made online someplace. I don't know. I, I was going to throw them some free advertise. Oh. Not sure if you could hear that, but the regular, the regularly scheduled announcements are going over on the PA system here, so I guess we'll have to work with that. But anyway, so I have this mask on, so if I sound a little funny or uh, probably won't puff my peas quite so much with this mask on. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what to talk about, and I told the person who asked for, you know, when I was when it was requested that I record this podcast. I said, well, I need something to talk about. And uh, I don't know that I have anything to talk about, but uh, I have nothing else to do. So you're all going to listen to me ramble on for a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. So, uh, you know, it's Wednesday, April 7th, 2021. And as of this recording, I'm still depressed, but I'm not dead. Yeah, so what does a guy do at four, almost 4.30 in the morning at the airport? <laughs> in I guess it doesn't matter that we're in pandemic times because it's not like I would go start, spark up a conversation with someone anyway. Um, but, you know, I mean, people watching is, is a thing I enjoy doing uh, as much as the next guy, gal, person, um, human being, as it were. Um, well, there's not a lot of that happening. There really isn't. And, uh, we'll see as time travels on, you know, travel, uh, -huh. um, but yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm trying to decide, like I was thinking about doing a podcast a day while I'm on this trip. Um, just because why not? Right. I mean, I'll, I'll be able to, Oh, they're reminding me to social distance. Uh, yeah, sorry, I lost my focus there. Um, you know, I'll have the opportunity to record every day, I guess, and why not? Um, but again, content, right? Like, what what am I going to talk about every day, right? I mean, I there's only so much uh, that I can go through. Um, I am, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to therapy on Friday, which I think I have never, ever said that I'm looking forward to a specific day of therapy right i'm usually more in the camp of oh please let her call and cancel please let her call and cancel i don't want to talk about me today i don't want to talk about me today oh she's going to ask me about this and what do i say and like i talked about in a previous show like am i screwed up enough <laughs> you know what what okay well let's see am i good can i say i'm good I, am, do i know if i'm good am i bad do i know if i'm bad mm. um but 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm just interested. I think I think we're making some progress, some headway. And after last last week, when we, we talked about anxiety and binge eating and things like that, I'm, I haven't spent any time really looking into it like I wish that I had. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing some more about what she has to say about it and learning more that see if there's really a good fit here, right? I mean, because it's not like you uh, you're in therapy one day and your therapist says hey i think you have uh schizophrenia and you just say okay and you take it and go right no you you have to look into it you have to try to understand it see if it really fits um you know something big like that obviously you would want to you know get officially clinically diagnosed but uh, you know just yeah, as a as a bad example right like I'm, I'm just gonna say i'm not gonna say hey i'm a binge eater hey i have anxiety because megan said so right i mean that's kind of irresponsible so you know i, I want to look into it and i just haven't i don't have any good reason for it um other than i just didn't <laughs> um too busy getting oh so uh yeah okay we'll get there um yeah so Looking forward to it. She said she wants to talk more about this show. Um, she referenced, she, Megan referenced that um, I talk, I brought it up a couple times in our last session that I have the podcast. And like, I don't know if she wants to subscribe meaning to that. And I certainly don't that I brought it up a couple times, right? I mean, in any conversations, right? I mean, we, her and I have had, uh, I don't know, six, seven conversations and, you know, things are going to cluster. Things are going to come up at different times. And, um, yeah, there you go. Local time, 4.30 a.m. If you heard that, <laughs> um, but it's going to get old talking about the announcements. Um, so, you know, I think it's just natural that topics will come and go. Right. And that I mentioned the podcast twice or three times in one hour of talking about me it doesn't seem that that unusual or that uh meaningful on its own but we'll see i don't i'm not sure what her angle will be and what she wants to talk about and you know uh but yeah i mean uh, hey, hey it's part of what i do every week um and so yeah it's open fodder for for whatever so and um, so I, I haven't covered this in a while. I haven't talked about it in a while. But in reference to like communications that I have with you all, you know, be it text or email or whatever, um, and you know all those ways. Look up Jamalki on the internet: J A M O A L K I, yeah, Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blah blah. Um, but. Like, I don't ever talk about anyone in specifics with anybody. Um, not my therapist, not Nora, not, you know, there are some of you who have been introduced to Nora and my family. And so, you know, there might be some conversations like, hey, you know, I talked to Kate today. Um, and, you know, it's whatever, whatever. And Nora's like, yeah, yeah, I follow her blog and whatever. Um but yeah, I mean, I, so I, I just want to, you know, while I'm not bound by any kind of confidentiality agreement or pact, I, I certainly follow that and don't talk about anybody in specifics or really hardly at all because it's just not my place to, right? I mean, I have a friend who listened to the show. I have, you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. Someone was, someone suggested this, like I was opening up, right? Someone wanted to hear from me talk at the airport. Uh, woohoo. <laughs> um, so yeah 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 um so since last episode um i'm trying to think when i recorded last episode did i get my covid shot when i recorded last time i can't remember when the last episode came out um but yeah so I've, i'm all pfizer up or at least halfway pfizer up and uh i have my appointment set in a couple weeks to get my second dose and uh things are things are feeling well, they're not feeling any different, but, you know, like I'm doing my part and I feel like I'm doing, like I'm doing, it sounds so cliche and so hokey, right? But I'm doing for others. I'm not necessarily doing it for me. Uh, 
you know, I'm doing it for me in that I won't get sick and I won't have to worry my family. Um, so in, in that way, I'm doing it for me, but really I'm doing it for them and doing it for, you know, just social responsibility, right? Like we gotta, we gotta get ahead of this thing and, you know, and this is how we do it. So, um, yeah, so I did that. Um, I think I talk, I must've talked about this, right? I gave blood and I got a haircut and I shaved and maybe, maybe I talked about all this, uh, I don't know. I don't want to bore anybody uh, any more than I normally do. So, um, yeah. Uh, so there's a few more people kind of walking around and I'm feeling myself be more self-conscious and my body is heating up and my face is turning flush as I wonder, <laughs> like, I'm so important, like, I'm such a standout that they'll notice me and care about me. But I am uh, concerned, or I wonder what they think of the guy over in the corner talking on a microphone in the middle of the airport at 4.30 in the morning. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I'm, I guess I've always kind of looked at that as a sign of, like, being full of oneself, having an ego. Like, like why would they care about me? And, and maybe it's because I'm a people watcher and I think I notice things... Um, quite a bit i don't know how it relates more to or less to average the average person on the street but i think i would notice the guy with the microphone and so i assume that they noticed the guy with the microphone and then like uh, are they judging me well, they must be judging me because because i'm an idiot right <laughs> only an idiot would be on a microphone at the airport real early in the morning uh yeah, so anyway, so I might have to stop and take off my sweatshirt. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so what else? What else? I don't know. Um, I've been trying to figure out this uh, this feeling of this is just the way I am. This is just the way life is and not really ascribing or feeling or understanding emotional output um, based upon the goings-ons around me and um yeah i don't know i mean it it fits it, it feels right that like i just i just accept what's going on or at least i i cognitively accept this is what's going on and i mean other things emotions may be raging on underneath bubbling under the surface but like whatever that whatever that mechanism is that keeps me from feeling them is is working and i don't uh <clears throat> like i don't acknowledge the anxiety i don't acknowledge the happiness i don't acknowledge the sadness you know if it's not if it's not a physical ailment like my achilles or my knee or you know when i eat too much and i have indigestion <laughs> like if it's not actual physical symptom sign i just don't experience it i don't feel it i don't i'm not aware of it and um that's my superpower i guess huh. um i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know so the week ahead i'm gonna go see mom i'm gonna see her today obviously i'm staying with mom uh, I will see Dave at the airport, which I'm looking forward to that. Um, and, and of course, let's we'll see mom as well. <laughs> uh, and then uh, go see, I'm going to get to see my two youngest girls and my oldest girl tomorrow for dinner, uh, which will be a treat. Just going to spread my COVID all over, all over Michigan. Um, hoping to see my friend Sam um but she's she works she's she's a retail retail gal and works like these goofy 10 to 7 hours and which isn't very conducive to having lunch with her at two and then having dinner with my girls at say six so i don't know i'm hopeful maybe maybe i'll just pop in surprise her at work and say hi i don't know um and then uh then i've got an off day friday nothing going on and then saturday I see dave and scott sunday come back home so 
there's my laundry list of things that are happening the next few days just to keep you updated as I'm sure you all want to adjust your calendars to uh, to reflect the goings ons. So um, speaking of being self-conscious, there's a woman who sat across the way from me and I am really my face is going to burst because I am just so red in the face and blushing and must be embarrassment although i can't again i explained why 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 but she's not she's not interested in me but i'm interested in her wondering if she's interested in what i'm doing hmm. how's that that's ego is that ego uh, or self-consciousness or are they are they related maybe they're related uh, i don't know um but yeah you know what i think i'm gonna go hunt down a soda and uh then pretend to edit this real quick and send it out for you all so there you go 15 minutes at the raleigh durham international airport waiting uh for my flight so everybody thank you so much for listening uh, i apologize if this is one of the duller episodes it probably is uh which is saying something um so or isn't saying something i don't know how that works mm, okay um everybody be safe and be well thanks mm-hmm.